Hello everyone, thanks for joining me again. If you are someone who programs using React and you also use Visual Studio Code and you like the fact that it has Emmet built in, uh, you may have noticed that when you're building, say, React components, you know, the Emmet doesn't work with JSX. So what you can do is you can actually include Emmet uh, into React so that you don't have that trouble anymore. For example, if I want to create a div right here inside of my component and I just type in div, Emmet should take care of that and fill it in for me, but it doesn't. All right, because Emmet's not working with React, or it's not working with the JSX here. So what you can do is you can go to Visual Studio Code Docs, and here's a link up here at top. I'll put that in the um, video description later. So please go there, and when you do, you'll find there's this little bit of code here. All right, it's under the section Emmet abbreviations and other file types. You can get this bit of code and you can include it in your Visual Studio Code editor to make things work for you. So we'll copy that. We'll go into our code editor. You go into settings, which means preference settings. Okay, and here you'll have your extension settings. So if you open that up and go down to Emmet, then you'll see that it says include languages and you can edit your settings.json file to include the code that we just copied. So what we do is we'll add a comma here and paste in that code. Okay, so now hopefully this will make it so that we can use Emmet with JSX. So if I type in div, it fills it in so it looks like Emmet's working. One more quick test. We can type in container and we should here we're adding in the class and we should get automatically a div with the container class name okay and it even gives us class name because we're dealing with the react component so that's nice so uh, I hope that this helped you and uh, if you already knew this then uh, good on you anyway thank you very much for checking me out and I'll see you next time thanks